Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. So Canada is proposing a new bill and it's called Bill C-367. And what it's proposed to do is remove religious exemptions to defend hate speech. So basically, if you are out on a street corner, like a lot of street pastors do and ministers, and you are preaching against something like the LGBTQ community, for example, that would now be considered hate speech, where before it was an exemption. So, you know, you were typically allowed to do that because it's freedom of speech. So again, this bill is now proposing that this would be considered hate speech. And so with that, you will be arrested and can be jailed. Take a look at what Jeff King from International Christian Reform has to say about this. First of all, it, it uh, amends the criminal code and it takes away some religious exemptions that protected Christians. So if, if you're in the United States, uh, you know, we saw the same kind of thing with the Equality Act that the Biden administration was trying to pass. And basically it creates hate speech laws. Some of those have already advanced in Canada. But Christians were protected. They said, well, if they're saying biblical things or if they're saying things according to their faith, whether that's Quranic or biblical or whatever, they're protected. And this is the alarming thing is that this strips those out. There is no protection. Uh, and as always, this is this is what the dictators and the despots do overseas to strangle Christianity or whatever faith. You know, they say, oh, we have religious freedom, but not in the public sphere. What would happen to them potentially if this were to pass? Yeah, well, you know, I interviewed a pastor recently who is a Canadian pastor who's been arrested a number of times for street evangelism. He's not even being obnoxious. He's doing street evangelism, completely legal. Uh, and then the cops show up. So if he is in an area where uh, people know who he is and, and their uh, LGBTQ crowd, they will cause a complete ruckus. And then guess who gets arrested? So this really is a formality because... Pastors and preachers and street ministers have been getting arrested for years. There's a very popular pastor who is always out. He travels all around Canada. His name is David Lynn, and he preaches on a regular basis. He tends to target the LGBTQ alphabet community. And he was arrested uh, about a year or so ago in Toronto when he was out preaching against this lifestyle. Take a look at ha what happened here. If you don't like what someone's sharing, if you don't like what someone has to say, the law says that we exist. That's not the main have, issue. Well, it is right now because see all these people around here? Okay, so you are literally right now. I'm not causing, literally causing, causing anything. Disaster. No one told them to block the side. What did I do? I'm back up. I'm with him. Back up. So Pastor David Lynn is one of many, many, many pastors and preachers that have been arrested all over Canada. And as I said, this bill is just a formality. They really just want to push this into law and make it so that we cannot be out here standing up for God. So what I will say to this nonsense bill is that I guess I better give my size for my orange jumpsuit because I too get into public debates and discussions about scriptures um, on a regular basis. So what does that mean for me and the 69.1% black Christian community and religious community in Canada that are out here? We are always out ministering everywhere you go, you see them with signs on street corners, and they are against the LGBTQ community and against other things that are going on, crime, um, all the other things, racism that go on in Canada. So if we are out here and we're quoting scripture, it's considered to be 
hate speech, and therefore jail. Imagine a day where you can be jailed for standing up for God. Yet Canada is so quick to defend and protect the alphabet soup community. I'd like to see that same energy for black people, which we're not seeing. I'll be keeping my good eye on this bill to see if it actually passes and I will keep you all updated. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.